James True here. I wanted to show you a little bit of progress on the app we're working on in relation to uh, today's progress report will be on uh, character movement and uh, we'll fire up the older version of the character and I'll show you two things that uh, that I've enjoyed uh, making better today. So when you move into this uh, this character as you move, I want you to notice that the feet of the character have a kind of drift on the terrain. The checkerboard terrain moves underneath their feet almost as if it's a conveyor and, and they're floating above it. It becomes really obvious when you move backwards. When the character goes forwards, it, it's harder to see because I've timed the move speed to match up exact, as close as I can to the terrain. But it's all, it's all just guesswork. It's, it's all guesswork. Even the jumps are guesses. And, and, and the, character, the character works this way. You can still get around. There's some cool animations that go along with like backing up and going forward and things like that. But that drift, this backwards drift, is definitely an issue. Another issue that that uh, that I'm not too keen on is actually this. When you watch this character interact on top of this this shape, they it's really obvious that they're they're floating in air. See that, especially under the left foot. And those two things are two totally different issues. And both of those really uh, hinder the immersion into, into seeing the character move around the world, especially when they're going over terrain. It's, it's a little bit easier to fool on flatland, but if, if you're the walking on terrain, you're going to constantly be seeing this sort of flawed uh, kind of uh, touch. There's no, they're not actually touching the terrain, right? They're just sort of hanging out on top of a shape. This is actually kind of standard in, in video games. It's actually one of the reasons why I don't actually prefer or like third, third person character designs because of these limitations that it has. And, uh, um, um, I've, I've actually applied some, some fixes to that. And let's, Let's show you. I'm going to turn off this Lola char this character. This is an Adobe character called Lola. It's downloadable for free on Mixamo. And then this is the same character, but just a different angle on the camera. But uh, this is sort of a newer version of this. And on this one, I've, I've been working on two things. First of all, we've, we've added what's called root motion. And if you notice this little... Uh, if I just barely hit my hit the go the forward arrow key the character is actually dragging themselves across the ground you can really see it and this is built into root root motion meaning that the animation itself actually decides how far the character goes before it was the animation was floating above the ground and we were moving the animation across the terrain this is different this is root motion now you're the character itself is moving and when it goes over things like this, it, 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 it's, it, it actually, even the trip, it works. Um, it's showing you uh, this ability to sense the terrain. Now, so the drift, that was the one problem was the drift. The drift is solved. But you notice that the second problem is still there. there it looks like that the character is floating on a box above the ground so you can see it right there and, and and that's because they are and again this is another standard feature which i think really eliminates the immersion into it and so uh i put together this script or applied this script i should say today to this i'm going to turn this on and now look what happened with their foot now with IK conformity on basically foot conformity the as the character moves the feet are going to adjust to the terrain watch this look at that 
Look at that. See that? So she's got one foot on top of the the wood and then the and then the other off of there. And and when she comes back over here, she's able to snap. There's still some issues like right there. That's not the perfect cuz her toes aren't going down, but it's a lot better. Let's, look at that. And and so even when the terrain is tricky, um, there's going to be this conformity. And, and this really shows itself well when you, uh, when you consider the 3D stairs, right? Whenever you see a character go up the stairs, it really shows how, how fake it is. And, and you know, it's, it's a game, so it's okay, but, but, Watch what happens now. It's not perfect, but but now when my character goes up here, look at that. Actually has the ability to have one foot on one stair, one foot on the other stair. And there's, there's nothing programmed in here about stairs. This is just simply the character uh, reacting because of this script, which is conforming the uh, conformity. It's looking at both feet, and it's changing the collision. If I, if I go over here into scene view... And I focus on the character here. It it changes the uh, this green capsule right here. That height is being adjusted by the difference between the IK. Notice the the foot this ankle red circle and that ankle red circle, or the I or some of the IKs in here. This thing also has, you know, a uh, hand IK too, but just just in reference to to applying this, look at how much that conforms to the terrain. It's so much more immersive that way. So much more immersive. So, you know, there's it, there's some problems still. The locomotion actually has to be kind of tailored around this. Um, but this is a much better way. And you'll notice that even after that flip, things like the flip can happen because of root motion because the character can simply uh, leave their, well, if I can learn how to jump right, uh, the character can leave the, uh, the flip and simply enter into a fall state. And, uh, and, and so it's, it, it's, it's much more intelligent as far as like uh, how it conforms to the, uh, to the terrain. Now, right now, this character is probably going to trip more because I haven't adjusted the what's considered a collision is is sort of different now with these two different feet but you'll notice that that she's conforming pretty well i wanted to make sure that this was actually going to like work work because uh this was just like one of the off-the-shelf characters and so i wanted to try like the a range and so this is another adobe character uh doozy and and look how great his feet conform isn't that super that is just fantastic so as Doozy uh, traverses the terrain, um, whenever he stops, he adjusts his feet and it just, he puts you there. He shows you, yeah, I'm standing here, buddy. This is where I am. Whoops, tripped. It's trippy over here. He's tripping.